Hey, what's up? Hello, I go by Ren, and today I have a, another nipple piercing video for you guys. This is just a one year update of the update <laughs> on my nipple piercings because there aren't a lot of one year updates. Like, it's like one year after I take out my nipple piercings, or three weeks after I get my nipple piercings, and I'm like, where's a good medium? and here it is i have had these piercings for a year on september 9th it made a year it is now september 18th i'm excited because it's been a year it's been a long journey long time abstaining from sexual activities involving these guys here still trying to debate on if it's worth it still not sure if it really is so i just wanted to give you guys an update on healing processes sexual activities um cleaning methods just things that i've found out about these piercings in the last year first thing is these bitches don't heal i am concerned on if they will ever heal uh, and honestly uh, fairly recently i actually felt like they were more so healing but well of course they've been healing but pretty much done with the healing process um maybe like a during the summer sometime before i came back to school and i was surprised to find out that they have not in fact they're actually very much they've progressed a lot in the past year but it's like ooh, i heard between nine months and a year they fully heal so what's going on and i know it's not abnormal it's actually normal for them to take longer than a year to heal just because it's such a difficult piercing i guess i don't know or it's like a, a difficult area that you've gotten the piercing in whatever the case is it's very frustrating because they don't really heal <laughs> so fairly recently when i got back to campus in mid-august i actually left my dial antimicrobial soap and my um salt that i would do sea salt soaks for my piercings back home um i actually hadn't done the sea salt soaks in a long time i did them earlier that summer because i noticed that my piercings were getting keloids and of course i don't want keloids so that is the only time that i do use the sea salt salts when i have keloids but because i came to ant and i completely forgot that I didn't have any cleaning solution or salt to soak my piercings in um, I thought that they would be fine I knew of course I couldn't go too long without cleaning them but I didn't know the severity of how much they hadn't healed until a few days later I started getting keloids and they're getting bigger and bigger on both of my nipples that was a little difficult finding out that you know they still need all these treatments to be healed eventually i went to walmart got me some dial microbial soap began using that that made them a lot better however i still did need to get the salt so my mom sent me the salt because i was being cheap and i didn't want to go buy it and when what i do is i make i put it in a giant um glass bowl i put purified water sea salt i don't really measure it's non-iodized though i just kind of pour to liking i guess and then i put a few drops of tea tree oil in there i put more than four people suggest four because tea tree oil is so strong but i use tea tree oil like almost every day so my body's used to it so after that i shake it up and i pour it into a shot glass and of course heat it up in the microwave 10 seconds one nipple another 10 seconds the other nipple uh, and that did help the keloids a lot they're still here the keloids but they are slowly fading away and they've gotten they've made a lot of progress since i did start using the shot glass method but it's still you know pretty annoying because it's like why do i still have to do this another thing i wanted to talk about involves cleaning but the soap i use dr bronner's uh, biodegradable soap the flavor I have is the flavor the scent that I have is lavender right now and I really thought about getting the tea tree oil um, soap because I figured that that would help them a lot more I should have tried that got the lavender instead because it was the only one in, in the store um, that doesn't irritate my nipples it does smell heavily of lavender but then again I, I don't know if it's because it's real lavender that it doesn't irritate or just it's just not going to irritate them um but a any soap that i've seen that i've used hasn't irritated unless you got some like bath and body works type stuff that's probably very different but when it comes to me and the soap that i've used it's either non-scented or dr bronner's never had a problem with them the soreness and pain aspect of them today i don't really feel any pain towards them unless like i hit them on something of course because then i might as well die in that very moment because they hurt really bad uh 
but when it comes to sleeping or wearing something tight or just anything that you would that would hurt you in the beginning phases of having the piercings they don't hurt anymore another thing is the sensitivity with them i haven't really been having sex and when i was it i didn't feel any like when i was we really just skipped these off limits no nipples not tonight not the next night not the night after that no nipple play at all um which may suck for some people but i was never really a nipple person i mean i started to be right before i got them pierced so it's like mm. and oh in my last video i very strongly mentioned do not have any kind of sex involving these and mm, guess what i did so a few months ago i of course was fooling around whatever and they got really bad keloids on them like it was really bad um like i'm talking on both sides of both nipple piercings it was really bad so i did of course that was when i discovered that the shot glass method really did work because like i said in my last nipple piercing video as well i didn't use sea salt or tea tree oil in the hot water method because i just it didn't work for my industrial so i figured why would it work for my nipples and of course i wanted to take extra care of my nipples but like i'm saying now the sea salt solution really does work as long as you use it the correct way um, i tend to put a really hot water in the shot glass like when i put it in the microwave it has to be really hot kind of sometimes it does burn but it's it's doing what it needs to do to keep the uh, keloids away I kind of just googled frequently asked questions regarding to nipple piercings for this update video. Um, another thing that popped up was changing jewelry. I actually changed jewelry, I want to say six months after I got the piercings. They were perfectly fine. I just had to be really careful with it because I got that Spencer's jewelry and while they advertise as being 100% sterling silver or like surgical steel, surgical steel is what it is. I don't know because it's like the bar itself I think was but it had like two diamonds on the edge and the silver pieces that were holding the diamonds I'm not sure if those were because over time they started to like fade like to a brownish color and when that happened I was like hell no I'm taking these out because I don't need any more complications going on. But when I did change that, I would just have like, this is this is the regular bar, and then this is the new bar, and so it would be sticking outside of my nipple, and I would kind of just meet these two and just guide them throughout my whole nipple to change them, because the second your piercing, your nipple piercing come out, man, you got about five minutes to put it right back in, or you done, you gotta get a re-pierce. Because one time that did happen to me, and um, in uh, the community bathrooms i was showering and the ball of the nipple ring fell out didn't know where it went fell out and it was like halfway in halfway out of my boob and then i realized and i had to hurry up and push it back in and i was just being super careful that whole night until i bought another one so it's a process honestly i really suggest you just be careful with them um now over the summer ooh, i'm trying to think of course i went to the swimming pool i had my 19th birthday party and we went up north and we went into the lake i made sure to not put my nipples in <laughs> that sounds funny like i'm just dipping my nipples in the lake but like you know just submerge my whole body in the lake or the it was a chattahoochee river i think is what it was um because i didn't know what would happen i knew that they weren't fully healed i knew they were doing great but i just didn't want any any more complications but in swimming pools i've been fine even though it's a shit ton of bacteria in swimming pools um i've been to multiple over the summer and nothing bad ever happened from those but i, I was always on a constant stream of just like cleaning them correctly and over the summer i also got to the point where i was only cleaning them once a day i'm kind of doing that now uh, i clean them once in the morning for sure but in the afternoon or in the evening my shower is what cleans them i do do my sea salt socks two days a, i mean uh two times a day most days especially when i first started but now since the keloids are like really really small um it's kind of like once a day or you know once every other day i'm trying to figure out the exact point of when i'll know that they're healed versus when I can I can tell that they still are as of right now of course I can tell because they're healing with these keloids 
and you know I, now that i'm thinking about it i actually realized that they form crust with the keloids and before i he had even gotten the keloids like they weren't really crusting like at all or pussing and, and now they're doing that just because i had the keloids from from not being able to clean it for a certain amount of time and I, i'm just trying to really think how much longer it should take because i'm impatient and it, i just really want to keep them like i don't want to get rid of them like i pay money for these and i really like the way that they look so yeah hmm, it's difficult i really don't suggest you get these unless you're ready for this like if you like getting your nipples play with and you really want them good luck just x marks the spot put an x on your chest <laughs> do whatever you need to do to, just to make sure that they heal faster and more efficiently because you know you don't want to get an infection because those are not cool <laughs> so uh yeah that's about it i really hope that i answered some questions about them i really hope that this was a helpful video i've seen like one one year update on nipple piercings and everybody's just like oh hell no I i'm taking this out <laughs> i really hope that this helped with questions that anybody had of course if you have more leave them down in the comment section below in my four month video i spoke more about my experience i actually have a video of me getting the nipple piercings themselves so i mean that was pretty wild go check that out <laughs> um but i talked more about uh the experience the pain rate the the new er aspects of getting these done and what that was like for me to go through in those two videos so check those out other than that comment like subscribe same as always and you guys will see me in the next video